Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. What a week it's been. First one 2.2, now Black Forest Labs releases a new incredible fine tune of Flux called Flux Kriya. It's a Kriya Black Forest Labs collaboration and it's got a ton of major improvements. The biggest one, Flux Chin appears to be fixed. So super exciting model. I haven't tried it with Laura's yet, but I suspect that it works with Flux Laura's since it's just a fine tune of Flux One Dev. Before we get started, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, leave me a like. It helps out the channel, it helps me make more content for all of you, it helps me get all this content to you faster. So if you want to see more content from me, especially with all these new WAN 2.2 models and Black Force Labs getting more active re with releases, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the news and how to's that will be coming. Let's jump in. Let's check it out. So first thing we're going to need to do is head to the Flux Kriya Hugging Face page and, and go to the homepage. This link is in the description down below. Because this is a Flux model, we need to accept the terms of service from Black Forest Labs. So I've already done it, but if you haven't done it, at the top here, you'll see a little button that says to accept the terms of service. Once you do that, you'll have access to download the models. So the key features here, it focuses on aesthetic photography. So everything that you kind of get out of this is like very artsy. It looks like you know a good photographer might have taken the picture. It also seems to be a bit better at prompt following. We'll do a comparison where I run the exact same generation through Flux and through Flux Kriya, and we'll see what the difference is. And then similar to Flu original Flux Dev, it's distilled, the weights are open, and it all falls under the Flux One Dev license that we are used to. So if you already have Flux up and running, the model downloads for this are pretty simple. All you're gonna have to do is accept that those terms of service go to the files and versions and download the flux one Kriya dash dev safe tensor here if you haven't run flux before then you can head to the description down below all of these model downloads should be in the description down below if you haven't used flux before just click on each one of these links in the description and the models will auto start auto downloading. So once you have the models downloaded, you'll see them in your file explorer. You're going to want to open up your comfy UI folder. So comfy UI folder and then go to so it says to go to comfy UI models diffusion models. So let's go to models and then diffusion models. And then we're just gonna drag Flux One Kriya into diffusion models. And then you can do that with the rest of the files as well. You technically only need one of the T5XXLs. I just give you the option for all of them. The T5XXL FP16 is going to be the largest model, whereas the FP8 versions are going to be the smallest models. I'd recommend if you're going to use an FP8 to use the scaled version because that's closer to the FP16 than the non-scaled version is. And then you need the clip L regardless of which T5 XXL you use. So once you have the models downloaded, you're also going to want to download the workflow from the description down below. You can also get it on my Patreon and then get Comfy UI up and running however you do so and drag the workflow in. So if you name the models like I did with these names, I actually didn't rename anything. I just click on the link and let it download. Then you shouldn't even have to change your model names here. They should just run. So on the left here, we're loading the diffusion model in the clip. And then the VAE is loaded over here. And then you can put your prompt into this prompt multi-line string, or you can just disconnect the string input and put a prompt in here. For Flux, my favorite sampler and scheduler combo is the IPNDM with beta, but use whatever one you 
tend to like best. All right, so I'm not gonna actually run this workflow. I have a flux dev flux Kriya comparison set up here that I wanna run. So we'll be able to compare the outputs from flux Kriya and flux dev. And I have some cool prompts that I've thought up here. So we'll run some of them through and see how they perform in both. All right, so this first one that I have is a Kodachrome woman who is slightly holographic blurring across the photo. Black, the background is gray, but also colorful at the same time. Run that. All right, so you can see the Flux Kriya version over here followed the prompt way better. It's got more of that like Kodachrome old blurry look rather than the Flux generation kind of just put like some paint on the woman's face. And you can see also bad, bad Flux chin in the flux generation and with the Kriya version that's actually pretty much fixed so let's try another one here let's do one that will really highlight that flux chin all right so we didn't get really a close-up enough image to, to highlight the flux chin but you can see like the photography of the flux Kriya version is much better it also followed the prompt a bit better like we got black and white in the flux dev but i didn't really ask for black and white i just asked for high contrast korea feels like it understands the prompts a bit better okay now let's do a close-up i think a close-up may help out with seeing the flux chin um difference all right so in this one you can really see the flux chin difference right on the right you can see the kind of the crease in the middle of the chin here whereas on the left we don't get that at all and look at the the quality and detail on the hands in the flux korea the one on the this one is decent but you can see the fingernails are all messed up where the flux korea one the fingernails look pretty much perfect all right let's do a close-up one of a woman smiling All right, and here's another great example of why Korea is much better so i asked for retro film photography style look at the grain on that and also no flux chin and even you can see like some of the hair which is just incredible detail the teeth look perfect freckles look natural awesome generation this one just gives you kind of the Typical flux plasticky, you know, there would be a flux chin here if it wasn't cut off. So Creo definitely wins again here. Okay, last one here. I'm going to flip the height and width, and then we're going to do a super eight shot of a model with a bob cut walking on a runway. All right, and there we go. So the flux dev one didn't even try to do the super eight style. It didn't even it didn't even put her in chrome, right? Like I prompted for her to be wearing a chrome dress. She's not wearing a chrome dress. Basically all I got right was that she's on a runway and she has a bob cut. And you can see that flux chin is back. On the left, pretty much follows everything in the prompt. It's got that retro look. She's wearing a chrome dress, bob cut, no flux chin, really, really good generation. Now let's do a couple that are a bit different so this one i want to have a two panel anime scene of a woman driving in a car on one side and a man driving in a car on the other but for this one flux actually probably slightly better kriya seems more trained on photography type stuff so flux dev may be slightly better for this type of work and the last one is just a pretty cool generation that i did that i really liked it it could definitely fool like anyone into thinking like Oh, this is just a photo from, you know, the 90s. It's going to have two dogs playing on a playground. Yeah, so huge, huge difference there, right? Like the one on the right doesn't look really retro at all. They just kind of put some sepia on it. Whereas this picture, I don't know that anyone, other than some of like the weirdness here, if you fix those bars, and you know maybe the height of the slide off the ground over here but the if you just look at the dogs i don't think anyone could tell you that this isn't a, a retro photo all right so that is it for this video for photography type ai work i don't know that you're going to get a better model than Kriya out right now i've been using hydream for a while but this may have just 
made me switch back to to using a flux model. I just really like how artistic every generation looks. If you have any issues getting this up and running, head over to my Discord. I'm happy to help with any questions you might have there. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so so you don't miss any of my great content that I have coming in the future. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.